Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through minimization of context-free grammar. So minimization of context-free grammar is nothing but we are trying to remove the ambiguity problem. So there are three different three steps in doing this guys. So the first step is removing the useless symbols. So if there are any unused symbols, uh, if they are not for any use, why we are using them in the grammar? That's a waste of uh, space or waste of things, right? So we need to remove the useless symbol. And if there are any epsilon productions, please replace them with some other productions and remove the epsilon. Then removal of unit productions. So unit productions are something like this to be clear. A tends to B and B tends to C. Why? What is the use of B here? It can be directly A tends to C, right? So those are nothing but the unit productions. So now let us go through one after the other with the small, small examples so that it will be clear for us. Okay. So removal of useless symbols. A symbol is useful when it appears on the right hand side in the production rule and generates some terminal sign. It is not right hand side guys. It is left hand side basically. It should be appearing on left hand side right to produce terminals right. So if no such derivation exists then it is an useless symbol. So let us take a small example. So in the example we have given that VTPS, VR, STX, T is 0 and 1. Production rule are S tends to 0 T or 1 T or X or 0 or 1. So if you clearly observe what is the use of X? Are we replacing X by anything? Is there any production that X tends to 1 or 2? Right? Is there any production with respect to X? No. Then what is the use of that X? So simply we'll be removing that X and we, this will be our new grammar. Got it? Fine. Okay. And let us take one more example. So in this example, observe cleanly S tends to A, B and A, B tends to B, B, S tends to 1, B and A tends to 0. So if you observe clearly, B tends to B, B. What is the use of it? Right? And B tends to B, B it is making the grammar to go to infinite loop. Even we should remove this also. Right? So B is useless. Hence, once we remove it, you will be getting only 3. So further continuing, X tends to X, Y and O. X, Y. So this y is of no use so we'll be removing this completely so there is no need of this also so hence the grammar will be like s tends to zero fine okay so now we, we i think hope everyone got a small idea on removing useless symbols so now let us go through eliminating of epsilon productions so epsilon production so whenever you are trying to remove an epsilon production first you should replace the productions few productions which are belonging to epsilon so in cfg if there are epsilon productions it can be removed without changing the meaning of the grammar okay let us take an example if s tends to o 0 s 1 s and epsilon then we can remove the epsilon production that is we have to take care of the meaning of the cfg in place of epsilon insert other rules so if you observe it carefully did i do the solution no i didn't do the solution so let me try here s tends to 0 s or 1 s so the other production that i am removing is epsilon so insert this in that so s tends to 0 s and 1 s are available and 0 epsilon and 1 epsilon are also available so hence our grammar will be 0 s or 1 s or 0 or 1 hence we removed the epsilon so that's how we do guys just separate the epsilon trans transition epsilon production guys sorry epsilon production and substitute it in in the every production okay so once we are going to the example you will be having a clear idea don't worry okay so here we are having two epsilon productions that those are nothing but x tends to e and y tends to epsilon epsilons okay so should be substituted so these things will be substituting here so x tends to this only o x so in place of x place epsilon we get zero y y tends to one y in place of y place epsilon we get 1, it's not y, it's 1. After that, s tends to x, y, x. So please concentrate a bit here, guys. x, y, x. 
वन टाइम मेक द फर्स्ट वन एज एप्सिलॉन देन मेक सेकेंड वन एज एप्सिलॉन एंड इन द लास्ट टाइम लास्ट वन एज एप्सिलॉन एंड वन टाइम मेक बोथ एज एप्सिलॉन सो दीज आर द फोर कॉम्बिनेशन दट वी गेट सो लाइक दैट वी नीड टू ट्राई द कॉम्बिनेशन इफ वी गेट ए क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस सो इफ वी कंसिडर ए सिंपल प्रॉब्लम लाइक दिस सो एप्सिलॉन इन प्लेस ऑफ एस दिस विल बी ए ए दिस विल बी 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 और और दैट्स इट विल दिस ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी रिमोव गॉड इट इट्स रियली सिंपल गैस इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द मेन कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इट ओके सो नाउ लेट अस गो थ्रू रिमूवेबल रिमूवल ऑफ यूनिट प्रोडक्शन सो द यूनिट प्रोडक्शन आर नथिंग बट दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एक्स टेंस टू वाई वाई टेंस टू जेड एंड जेड टेंस टू एक्स सो दिस हॉल प्रोडक्शन आर ऑफ नो यूज दे आर जस्ट डिफाइनिंग एक्स टेंस टू एक्स एट द एंड इज देर एनी यूज फॉर इट गैस इट्स फॉर नो यूज सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई वी नीड टू रिमूव दीज काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन सो इफ यू अब्जर्व द एग्जाम्पल इन द एग्जाम्पल यू विल फाइंड वन I am seeing one. Okay, I am seeing two. So in the first we are having S tends to C, and here we are having S tends to sorry B tends to A. So these are the two unit productions. So unit productions you can also say them as non-terminals to non-terminals. Those are nothing but unit productions. Got it? Okay. Our unit productions replace C tends to zero one. Yes. So here we can replace C right. So in place of C what we can substitute zero one. In place of a, what we can substitute these both, zero a and one b, fine. So we'll be just substituting them, and we'll be getting a new grammar. That's it. So I hope everyone got a small idea on the concepts that we have discussed now. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through a small example, so that you'll be understanding it clearly. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.